This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, September 7th, 2010. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Phoenix Monitor today, we'll talk to Caitlin Jones. She won the gold medal in the 200 IM at the Youth Olympic Games. Swimming World TV producer Jeff Cummings has the interview. Caitlin, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, must be great to uh, be back now from Singapore at the, after doing so well at the Youth Olympics. Yeah, it feels great to be finally home. Now, before we get to the meet, I'm sure viewers and, and myself, we want to know what was the selection process to get named to the Youth Olympics team? Um, to be honest with you, I am not completely sure. Um, I got a call in May, the end of May, and they told me I made the team, so I had 12 hours to either accept it or decline it, so I decided to accept that's pretty quick turnaround, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so did you, were you ever at a point where you're saying, I don't know if I want to go, or did you instantly say, yes, definitely want to go? Um, I definitely thought about the pros and cons about going and not going, but I decided yes. So. Now, the team was really small. There was only four girls and four guys. Was it unusual to be going to this major international competition with such a small team? Um, well, even though the swimmers were small, there were so many people from different sports that you got to meet. So it was the small team was good because we got to get to know each other really well. What was the atmosphere like, not just at the pool, but in Singapore in the environment of the Youth Olympics? It was very exciting. Everybody was just so pumped up about the competition, and it was great. Now. You said there were so many, you know, swimmers from other countries. Did you get to, uh, you know, you, did you feel like you started any inter international friendships with anyone? Yes, absolutely. I'm, um, I'm friends with a lot of my friends from other countries on Facebook now. So we've been talking ever since the competition. It's great. Now, you've never been to the actual Olympics, but I, I'm sure you've seen it on TV. Uh, did, it, did the Youth Olympics feel like they were trying to you know get you guys ready for what it could be like at the Olympics yeah I definitely think they were trying to give us an experience very similar to the real Olympics and I think they succeeded in doing that now it, it, tell me get, get tell me more specifically how you felt like it was pretty much like the Olympics well everybody was so pumped up and I don't even know the atmosphere I guess um, there were signs everywhere broadcasting the Youth Olympics in Singapore. Now you won the gold medal in the 200 IM, so uh, take us through uh, that swim for us. Um, on the blocks, I was pretty excited. I, um, I knew I had a pretty good chance at meddling and getting on the podium. And on fly, I, I took it pretty smooth. I didn't want to rush it and get too tired out on fly. And then I was actually in last place after butterfly. <laughs> so, and on backstroke, I tried to catch up because that's my best stroke. And on breaststroke, I knew I was going to be behind a little bit, so I tried to keep up with them. And on going on to my freestyle, I knew I had a little bit of ground to make up, so I really tried to push my freestyle. And I passed the lot, the two girls that were ahead of me. Were you surprised that you won? Um, yes, I was actually. I, it took me a few days to actually realize and, that I had won. The 2.14.3 was the time you swam. Was that a best time for you? Yeah, it was actually best time by um, four seconds for me that day. Wow, that's a, that's a major drop. Um, so what was, I guess it means, you know, something was going on with your training. You, you hit your taper very well. Um, tell me, what, what do you think contributed to such a big drop? Um, I guess the atmosphere, to be honest with you, it just got me really, really excited for the, um, the meet and all my friends, the friends I had made there, they were very supportive and they got me pretty pumped up for it, for that swim. And then you went on to win a silver medal in the 200 backstroke, which you say is your best stroke. Uh, kind of give it, give me a, uh, an idea of how you felt about that race. I felt really good about that race. Um, I haven't actually dropped a significant amount of time or any time actually in the last two years so I dropped three seconds that day so I was very happy and I was happy with the silver. 
Well, so, yeah, definitely dropping uh, four seconds in your IM and three in your turn back. I mean, I, I would imagine it gives you a lot of confidence moving forward. Yeah, it definitely does. I'm pretty excited for the next season. So that, that leads me to my next question. What is the next big meet for you? Um, I think our team is going to juniors in Atlanta, Georgia. So I think that's my next major competition. And uh, one of your coaches there in Delaware is um, Bruce Gimmel, who is Andrew Gimmel's dad, who is, we all know is a great open water swimmer. Uh, tell me what it's like to, to, to swim on your swim team. Um, he's so inspiring, and he's a really good kid. Um, you get to see him train and what he does to achieve his goals, so I guess it's so, definitely someone to look up to. Well, it definitely sounds like he inspired you. Yeah. Well, uh, Caitlin Jones, thanks for joining us today, and again, congratulations on a great Youth Olympic Games. We'll look forward to uh, seeing more of you in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you, Caitlin, and that is it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.